Um, welcome to the revolution, as it were. I'm the radioactive patient, and today's topic has to do with reclaiming your life, as opposed to this. My gosh, shoot. Uh, okay, so I don't want to discourage anybody, you know, from going to twelve-step groups because. They saved my ass, and I've logged thousands of hours in Overeaters Anonymous, Alcoholics Anonymous, way back in the 80s, Cocaine Anonymous. And those, those, those rooms, they saved my life. But what happened was, I think the black and white thinking uh, enhanced uh, my ability to judge myself, even in situations where, you know, things weren't my fault. You know, there's that drunk, sober, uh, dirty, clean... Uh, alcoholic versus a normal person, uh, a lot of focus on uh, character defects and trying to get rid of them. And it's recently been proposed to me through some books I've read that a more effective way to live is to focus on the, the resilient parts of yourself, the parts of yourself that are strong. I think that what, what actually uh, was the straw that, that broke the camel's back was when I was asked to lead a mental health group called Dual Recovery. And it was a 12-step program like AA, but it encompassed both mental health, like you know bipolar or depression or schizophrenia, and substance abuse. But the problem with this thing was you had to read, as the leader of the meeting, you had to read the preamble twice. And you had to admit powerlessness over your mental health condition, your substance abuse. And then because you had to read the preamble twice, you had to admit that your life was unmanageable twice. And I just felt like I was being run over by a train. I mean, I'm powerless. Mow me down. It just really flattened me. So what ended up happening was at that same mental health center, uh, they were offering a free mindfulness class where they gave like guided meditation and, you know, talked about, um, you know, being aware of your stress level and your breathing. And then that led to me really wanting to do DBT, dialectical behavioral therapy. And at first my insurance company wouldn't cover it. Um, but I found a university that offered a program where they where they charged on a sliding scale because after all the teachers are actually I mean the therapists are actually students but I think that's a good thing because they're still trying to learn their mind is not shut down and I've been in that for four years and instead of you know, the whole recovery thing, you know, like I'm in some deep dark hole and I, and I've got this problem and that problem that I'm trying to climb out of, and I got to let everybody know I'm in recovery. All that labeling, um, being able to lose that and just look at myself as a resilient human being that goes through hardships like any other human being has really helped me. Um, so I see myself now as being in the business of reclamation. I'm a gold miner. Sure, I fall down in the hole just like anyone else. But when I'm down there, I pick up a P I pick I, when I come out of that hole, I will have a gold nugget in my hand and I will hold it up to the light and I will look at it and it will shine and it will grow because what you focus on does in fact expand and I'll learn more about it. And, and in challenging situations, I'll even plug parts, different components of it, you know, into my skill set and employ them the way you would any good weapon. So anyway, that's my story. And, uh, oh, there's one other thing. It's not, there are days when I can't see the light and that's when I turn to music because sound is a completely other piece of our sensory equipment. Um, sometimes I turn to touch. I remember one time I was extremely depressed and I, I often would cook or pet my cat or go swimming and focus on the water. So that really helped a lot. Instead of just going, oh, I'm recovering from bipolar disorder, you know, and looking at myself as terminal and the self-sick mindset. So if anything I've said has resonated with you today, don't be afraid to like, subscribe, and pass me on. I'm Allison Strong, the radioactive patient. Ciao for now.